I forgot. I'm locked in the room. I have no choice but to keep going. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I actually had to restart what I did on the last part. I even got my rupee count back. It was because my WaveBird wireless receiver thing stopped working. And I thought it might have been the controller port, so I, I thought, maybe I'm gonna have to turn off the GameCube and yeah, because I couldn't save. It, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, I just repeated what I got. So I've got my Deku Nuts, I've got my Rupees, there really wasn't much to collect in all that Jimmy's shammies we did there, so yeah, not really that big of a deal. Now about that save thing, see, uh, once we go through this door, the race will begin. Oh, no, I don't have the rumble feature on this controller <laughs> setup either, just for the sake of, uh, um... I don't want the cord to wiggle around. <laughs> I'm just paranoid now. <laughs> so, here we go. The actual game starts, and we still haven't been able to save. He gives me the creeps. He's supposed to, that's how they designed them. <laughs> that mass salesman was just the. Uh, sorry, just thinking aloud. But three days? Even if we never sleep, it still leaves us with a beastly 72 hours. Talk about demanding! By the way, three days in this game is only 54 minutes. So. Each day is only 18 minutes in length, but, uh, yeah, we gotta get that mask back before then, so we only have 54 minutes to do so, not counting time-frozen spots like this when the dialogue is stopped, I mean, when the, the time is stopped, like, in menus and dialogue, etc. Well, don't just stand there, we're going to see the Great Fairy! Look, you want to find a skull kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what the deal is up to. She watches over everything, and just between you and me, the skull kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the north gate, and you'll find the Great Fairy in there. So, she watches everything. Is she like Santa Claus or something? Anyway, oh, hey, dog, I'd like to play with you. Let's have some... Ah! <laughs> okay, maybe not. Yeah, they don't like Dekus. <laughs> I'm gonna go over to here and start a little bit of dialogue because this is actually a part of something important that we've got to do before our three t three days are up here. So yeah. And by the way, that dog attack did not hurt whatsoever. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. Okay, okay, business scrub. Relax. I already sold out of my wares and the carnival hasn't even begun. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can buy a gift for my wife and return to her in my village. By the way, is that like a handlebar mustache for a business scrub? Because he's playing with that just like a handlebar mustache. Never mind. <laughs> I've heard that a stone called the Moon Steer shines brighter than any other in the land. If you've got one, I'd really like to get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included. Uh, we don't have it, so I can't do anything but press stop, the B button. You have one? You're a Deku scrub. See, you know just how good to convenient a Deku flower can be. If you don't hurry, I'll give it to another Deku scrub. The early scrub gets the nuts. <laughs> oh god! Oh, okay, I'm gonna go up this side. I'm gonna show you something else here. These are the owl statues that I was talking about that I cannot do anything about at this moment in time. That'll help me do some of my save trickery that I planned on doing. But, uh, well, oh, jeez, it just keeps following me. Run! Ah, okay, so no this is North Clock Town. Still can't save, and we're, and we're in it for many more minutes to go. <laughs> Alright, so this is why I wanted to grind for rupees earlier on. Recognize this guy? This is his debut! What's this? Green clothes? White fairy? Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my! My name is Tingle! Yup, Tingle. The game's paywall. <laughs> See, he's... Every time he appears in a game, it seems like you've gotta pay out a load of rupees to get stuff going. <laughs> Alas, though, I'm already age 35. No fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky! You're so lucky to have a fairy! I know, I know, we should be friends! Yes, yes, in exchange, I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. There's the paywall! <laughs> so I want to buy the clock tone map, just to get this started to begin with here. And yes, we can now find our way around town. Well, you know that map that you'd always see at the bottom right screen? of every outdoor area in Ocarina of Time, except in dungeons where you'd have to find dungeon map, which is for free. Nope, nope, you've gotta buy them outside of dungeons now. Yeah, great idea. 
Tingle, tingle, kulula ba. These are the magic. These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. Uh, okay, okay, fine, fine. <laughs> I'd like to buy the other map, but at the same time, I also want to save my rupees for another side quest type thing. Well, not another side quest. There's only so many things I can do here, but I am uh, what? Seriously, seriously, man. Man, I I have a weapon. Look at this. Look at this. I can spin. I can I can talk to Tingle. Yes. <laughs> I didn't mean to talk to Tingle. No, thank you. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I. Oh God, no! Please, no, no. I I can't even look at you after you took my rupees. So here's another one of those moving bush thingies here, and I'm just gonna grab a couple more rupees as long as I'm here. And it's also as long as I'm here, you probably notice that there is a, uh, yeah, press C up to look in first person view. It's a heart piece up there that you can't get right now in your Deku body. And he, this kid named Jim here, he's shooting at this balloon up here. This is another important thing, believe it or not. Uh, what do you want, Shimp? I'm busy practicing with my blowgun. If you can't pop that balloon, don't let mess with Jim. Urgh. Yeah, everyone calls him Jim. That's all I know. His name is Jim. Tattle, stop it. Don't be a new Navi. Hey, aren't you going to the Great Fairy Shine your North Gate? Oh, wait a time! Your Navi just left! Okay, 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 relax. Relax. We're going. We're going. I just wanted to introduce the characters one area at a time. So here's the Great Fairy's place, and this doesn't look quite right. Because I know what that Great Fairy looked like in Ocarina of Time. So yeah, something happened, and we're going to get down to the bottom of this. Please, you like me? I've been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked skull kid. Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring it to the fairy fountain. So, yeah, um, if this fairy is gonna look like what I think it's gonna look like, well, um, hopefully it's not gonna look like that. <laughs> or act like that, because that, that's, yeah, you know those fairies are the, some of the creepiest critters. <laughs> Okay, now as long as I'm up over here, see there's that, that barred in area over there on the left side? Why don't I just do a little, uh, little mini game up over here, just as long as I'm in the area here. Just hop on over here, and deck your scrub playground down this hole. And this is what you need more rupees for. Why well, you didn't want to grind for more for just for Tingle's map currently for Woodfall? Yeah! Ah, Tingle! How's it going? <laughs> How about it? Will the young one play? No thanks. I don't want to see what the other one has to say. I'm pretty sure it's the same dialogue, though. Ah, yeah. uh, yes, yes, yes. Alright, so it may not seem like a good idea to play this, but we actually have a lot of time if we know exactly where we need to go. So I have the time to do this, I'm pretty sure. And even if I don't, I'll just be able to rush over and finish this portion of the game. And yeah, anyway, I gotta get all the rupees faster than the clock. This game is actually kind of, kind of rough. <laughs> Just put it that way. Uh, maybe not, not the earlier ones, but the ones on different days. And I gotta come here every day. And I just gotta take a look-see over here. There we go. Alright. And we are off. I'm not gonna drop any Deku Nuts yet. I'm still not gonna... Still not gonna do that just- oh geez, that was close. Still not going to do that just yet because I'd like to save the nuts for something. Let's put it that way as well. Let's watch where your shadow is, by the way. And uh, you shouldn't have too much difficulty getting all the rupees. Oh shoot, I left that one in the corner. How could I have- oh shoot! How could I have let that happen? <laughs> Well, well, yeah, I, I, yeah. if I have the rupees, I can compete, but I can't believe I messed that up so thoroughly. <laughs> Alright, we begin again. I am so sorry. <laughs> this, the first one isn't that hard at all, actually, so I'm not really sure how I managed to mess that up, but yes. Um, by the way, you can hover in the air for quite a while, as long as you don't push forward. That's just how the Deku physics work, I guess you could say. Uh, when you're flying in the air. Uh, anyway, I'll just hop down here. There we go. Speed this along a little bit. I gotta get to that one this time before I forget. <laughs> and... careful, careful, careful. There we go. And... let's go back the other way. By the way, um... Uh, I, I forgot how to do it, but if you hold a, a some button, you can look directly under you. I forgot which one it is offhand. I'm just kind of way too focused on this mini game here. Uh, 
so yeah, you might want to figure that out on the flowers outside before coming in here. <laughs> Because that would help out greatly, but this first one isn't that difficult anyway, so don't worry about it. Alright, there we go. And one more to go. I win. See, it's not hard at all, it's just... I, I don't know how I messed up that badly. <laughs> Probably because I was talking and stuff like that, and yeah, I got a purple rupee. Now I gotta come here on day two and day three as well. So you can see record the time for all of eternity. It is. I it wouldn't it be oh, I guess it may might be. <laughs> Alright, so let's get out of here and get back on track. So going into this light doesn't sound like a good idea if you if you listen to lore and stuff like that, but going into the light, you will be able to escape. And by the way, this game tends to like to drop, drop frame rate a lot, which is gonna mess with you a lot. Especially when you're aiming on stuff, if the frame rate keeps fluctuating, just saying. And that's not going to inspire confidence as well if you are uh, trying to do stuff on time. Anyway, we're looking for a fairy, right? Well, I'm just gonna go along over here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, the dog. See, the, the dog... Looks, this looks pretty cute and friendly, right? Let's, let's play. Oh, yeah. yeah, they can make you waste time. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I guess not that much time, but still. They don't hurt you or anything, just make you waste time. Here's a laundry pool. There's a frog here we can't do anything about. And on day one, the fairy is over here. So I can go grab that by just hopping across the water. I heard that story from the fairy, so don't worry about it. By the way, I never show what happens if you just fall in the water outright, did did I? Yeah, you just go back to the last patch of land you were at. Um, the Guru Guru guy here appears at night, but we don't even have the means to do that quest yet. <laughs> I think so, I'm just gonna have to leave that for now and head back over to North Clock Town and get on that ferry. Not, uh, not literally, just we're gonna take the ferry back. She's gonna reform herself, and hopefully it's not gonna be the creepy fairy. Got it? Good, okay. So, we know we needed the fairy, for sure, but beyond that, we seem to be in the dark as to where we're supposed to go, right? Right? Well, that's how the game is thus far, so let's get our info from the fairy. And we're also gonna get something else from her as well, you'll see. Oh god, it is these fairies again, why? No! Too creepy, I mean... Hello, nice to, nice to meet you too. Tattle and you, young one of the altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked child was helping me and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. Well, okay. Ooh, I'm glad you're not touching me. <laughs> so apparently it makes him dizzy. And... Dizziness equals magic. Yes, that's how I see it. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> Woo! Woo, I say! So I can now shoot bubbles by pressing and holding B. Yeah, this thing, this bubble here is really inaccurate, and they made it much more accurate on the 3DS version, so... The bubbles in this game are virtually useless for, for most situations. So that's, uh... Yeah, you're not gonna be using bubbles all that much, I betcha. So, hmm... Hmm... Okay... Uh, you know, we didn't really get much info out of her, did we? Uh, we just kind of got magic power. Um, I, like what? Like what? <laughs> Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. One more thing. One more thing. Oh jeez, the, the, the alarm is sounding. <laughs> Welcome, Link. Allow me to ease your weariness. Okay, so I guess she's only gonna heal us now. Hmm. 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 <laughs> so yeah, it still seems like we're still lacking info, aren't doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah, um Yeah. <laughs> but we'll actually get info from Tattle herself. I mean it's like she knows what to do, but the Great Fairy doesn't really seem to be saying all that much regarding things. 
So anyway, now I'm going to go ahead over to this side of town here. Uh, it's going to probably change from uh, day to night. Oh, no, not quite. <laughs> so this is East Clock Town. Yes. And... Yep, one day... I should say one half day is already finished. So this is the... Um, Bomber's secret hideout. It's not really all that secret, but we don't have a code for that. I'm just, yeah, they're mentioning that Jim fellow again there. Huh. Huh. So you gotta see Jim at North Clockdown. Remember that guy? Yeah, everyone's everyone's directing you to Jim. Anyway, I'm gonna go in here actually instead. And I'm just gonna show you something here ahead of time. Just so that you can see for kicks. I, I got a certain order of things that I wanted to do stuff in. Most of the time, public have already taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and committee members. Mr. Mayor and, and Carnival committee members, please order those who remain to evacuate. Eh, uh, hmm. Well. You're cowards. Do you actually believe the moon will fall? The confused town folks simply caused the panic by leaving this ridiculous, groundless theory. The soldier couldn't prevent the panic, but outside the town walls, it was where the danger is. The one answer is, the answer is that the carnival should not be cancelled. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? It's, it appears he's stuck in between a rock and a hard place. Are you serious, Muto? Seems that the giant chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. At this time every year, we are overrun by tourists, so why is the town empty? Clearly it's your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's if people are here for it. Don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this. Mm. Yep, still stuck. <laughs> soldiers wish to run, then run! We seem... We got some will stick to tradition! The carnival will be a success. I've never heard of a defense unit abandoning its town! And Maroma would certainly... I mean, surely say the same thing. Wouldn't she marry the tour? Let's not bring my wife into this. <laughs> that's genuinely funny. I almost take refuge. I'm at the carnival! So yeah, they're gonna be fighting for all of eternity, and that's a part of a side quest for le for uh, later on there. Oh, no, no, I'm stuck on the desk because the camera. <laughs> Welcome to your house, some business. She's one of those, or at least trying to be a sexy secretary, I guess, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, I know that. I, know that. I just wanted to get that conversation out of the way there because that's, you know, it's kind of like a, a thing, thing, thing there. But, okay, I guess I'll show you her office too as well as long as I'm in here. And, uh, there, oh, there's, oh, there's a Zohar here during the daytime, but not here right now. Oh dear, are you a student of Decker Elementary? Where's your teacher? You shouldn't be here. Field trips go next door. Tell your teacher that. So, yeah, there's no, nothing, nada you can do over here at this moment in time, but you can take a look at a diary. Kefi's diary. Remember I mentioned that name a little bit earlier? I think I called it Kefki, though, by mistake, but yes. <laughs> that's the one, that's the quest that I'll be cheating later on probably using the owl statue tricks and whatnot but yeah this is it's a place to hint you about stuff basically and to even start that giblet of a side quest let's put it that way so yeah just just saying it's there and let's move on here with the groove on and uh yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to still show you around town a little bit more before I get into the other stuff, just just so that you can get an idea of how this game sort of kind of hints you as to where you're supposed to go. Um, so, what's with you? You're wearing a weird hat for a Deku. Did you come to town for play? I bet no one will play with you, right? The yeah, adults are all busy getting ready for the carnival. The old astronomer at the observatory outside of town is the only one who will spend any time playing with us kids. We bombers ever hide out at the observatory. You have to take a secret route to get to it. Oh, don't be telling Jim in North Clock Town, I told you that! I, something tells me it was not supposed to get out in the slightest. And this is a pretty pretty useful item here for doing side quests, the bomber's notebook. Seek out a old individual in here, yeah, yeah. Well, this will actually all be explained when I get said book for realsies a little bit later on, but I can't even get it during this three-day cycle. So I'm just, just kind of checking stuff out here, showing you what the poop is going on. Yeah, I'll... I'll yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna hop down over here. What the? Aha! Dang it! You won't let me out either! Ah, freaking... <laughs> Alright, so... Here's a kid. You can break crates, by the way. I should actually grab that. I should also pay for that map by Tingle, too, but... <laughs> come to think of it... Oh, I keep getting turned around. My mistake. Arg. Okay, Tattle, what do you have to say? 
Wow, what are you doing? You could ask Jimmy about the secret route to the observatory. Now, how does... How does she know that's something important? Like, that doesn't really make much sense, does it? <laughs> but anyway, that is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to get to the secret route to the observatory. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do this kid quest on uh, day two. I'm just kinda kinda showing you around the place first. Uh, more than anything, I guess. Uh, now that it's nighttime, actually, there's less people around. Uh, but I'm just just kind of giving you a feel for Clock Town because we're because <laughs> we're gonna be here a lot throughout the course of the game. So I thought, eh, as long as I'm doing stuff, I might as well do it right. <laughs> do you not want to talk to me at all? There we go. <sighs> Another all nighter tonight. Wonder if we'll finish it. <sighs> what are you working on? <laughs> Hey, Apprentice, don't just stand there looking at the sky all day. Uh, well, let's see what he has to say. Remember we were taught how to do that, L target? It's gotten bigger again. This is bad. Well, what are you guys even talking about? This thing falling out of the sky. What? What is this craziness? Ooh! Okay, relax. Relax. The world may be ending in three days, but we can do this. Okay. Okay, we, we've calmed ourselves, right? Okay. Let's go over to this side of Clock Town. <laughs> Whew. So that guy over there, um, that was waving his arms and flailing his arms and everything like that. He's uh, kind of an important guy. You'll, you'll see as I get into that as well, but let's talk to this kid before we go up there. Secret route to the observatory? How do you know about that? Only Jim and us are supposed to know about that secret route. So they're still hinting that I gotta do something with Jim. But it's not really clear that Jim is gonna have anything to do with uh, such dealios. What? Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Really? Man, man. It's just uh, like, man, people really hate Deku Scrubs, don't they? <laughs> Especially this guy right here. Just watch this guy. He's like, ah, oh, welcome. Oh, hey, oh, you're just a Deku Scrub Kid. Hey, he's just like, yeah, yeah, you're a Deku Scrub Kid. Get out of here. You know, this is a guy that's gonna teach you something pretty good. Hey, yo, baby. I mean, yo, hey, baby, I'm a style and scare girl wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance till dawn. Not right now, please. Oh, sorry, that's too bad. In that case, come back anytime if you do decide you want to dance. By the way, I know of a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. You want to learn it? Eh, sh mm, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, yeah, now listen up. If you play that strange song backward, you can slow the flow of time. If you play each note twice in a row, you can move a half day forward through time. How's that? Pretty interesting, isn't it? Uh, I'm sure I'd like any song written by you better, baby. If you'd like, you play one for me. Unfortunately, that's just telling you about something that we don't have right now. <laughs> but keep that in mind. Just Yeah, the, the first song that we're going to get relates to that. Let's just put it that way, okay? Okay. Bomb place. This guy is... is can't use any of them, but feel free to look around. Dang you! And your... Ah... Uh, all right, I'll buy them. Ah, dang it. Okay, so yeah, well, you can't. No, no, we can't. Come again. So he's not very enthusiastic about that, but you can actually talk to him. We're expecting to get a larger bomb bag back stock pretty soon. Now that I think about it, it's already late. This is a part of another sort of side quest thing later on. There's a Goron hanging out here. He's a nudist. Hello, did you come buy a power keg? Uh, this should be honest, but I have a huge bomb that the shop doesn't even carry. Oh, but my product is so heavy, I don't think you can carry it. I'm sorry, I even brought it up. Yep, another thing that you should keep in mind for later. I hope you're writing all this stuff down, because this place has a lot of side quests. <laughs> oh, frame rates! Oh, the pain! <laughs> okay, so this is the guy I wanted to do some stuff with. Hey, the little guy, would you, won't you deposit some rupees? Nowadays, even if people have money, they don't deposit any. Nothing! Nothing! So, for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you're getting an item that holds a lot of rupees. So, I would like to deposit rupees. Alright, so... I would like to deposit... Um... 34, because I'm going to save the other thir uh, the other 40 for Tingle's map. Got it? Good. <laughs> okay, so my name... Yes, it's Link. 
Got it. I won't forget your deposits. Let me stamp you with my special ink. Hey, relax. This doesn't leave any marks, and it's not gonna hurt. Ow. <laughs> there, I don't even need to see you. So, this mark is going to remain on you for all of time. Believe me when I say all of time. So there's 34 rupees of ours in there. And we're just gonna leave him for now. Got it? Good. Dear Lord, the frame rate. <laughs> don't bother us! Oh, come on, really? Like, what? Can I at least watch her dance? Don't bother us! Okay, maybe not. Maybe I can't watch her dance, but I can talk to number two over here. Secret talk to the officer. Uh, oh. Okay, you're just gonna s repeat your dialogue. And there's another guard that won't let you through. There is actually a glitch to get through that if you back walk through it. Like if you do, like if you hold the L button and then back walk through it like that, you'll actually get through on an edge. And uh, this guy right here, it's a training center. And yeah, once again, saying this is no place for children. You cannot do anything here. So this first day here, I'm basically just showing you around for the most part. <laughs> and that is... Basically, really all that I could show you, because that route over here is going to lead you back into, um, ye old South Clock Town. So here is what I'm going to do, and you are going to like it. I'm going to finish this part off with a scarecrow dance to pass the time to the next day, and you'll see why I'm going to do that. How I want to pass it just to the next day and dance till dawn, because, well... Well, this is kind of... I, I prefer to have as much time as possible for the kids' quests. Let's just put it that way, so... Let's dance! And the kids' quest happens in, like, the morning to mid-afternoon, so that time has already passed for the first day. But I'll be able to start it on any one of the three days, so don't worry about it. In fact, you can do all the stuff that you need to do... Uh, <laughs> and you can do any of the stuff that you need to do on any of the days, because it's pretty quick to do if you know exactly where to go. Oh yeah, how was it? Went by in an instant, right? I'm still full of energy. If you like, baby, you can forget the time and dance until night! No thanks this time. I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we will hopefully and finally be able to save, maybe. <laughs> no, please, you don't, you don't, no, you already told me about this. Did you forget about me completely? I think you did. Anyway, part's ending. Hope you enjoyed. Toodaloo! PK Gam out! Still can't save. Still can't save. Keep your game pause until another time. I'm so sorry.